Hello to whomstever may be watching this video. I'm Lacey Linden and I'm going to teach you how to import animations from Mixamo into Sansar. So first thing we're going to want to do is go to the avatar reference files page. I'm going to link this in the description below and we're going to go ahead and see that it's avatar 2.0 is the time of making this video and we're going to scroll down to the low resolution skeleton. This is what we're going to want to work with. Um, in case any of you do not know, Mixamo is a tool that you can use to preview and import some really cool animations into Sansar. And so the first thing we're going to want to do is download the FBX of whichever uh, gendered skeleton that you would like. So I've already gone ahead and downloaded the female and the male uh, low resolution skeleton. So you're going to go to Mixamo, which is just M-I-X-A-M-O dot com. And once you're all signed in and everything, you're gonna be presented with a page uh, somewhat like this. What we're gonna to wanna to do is actually go to upload character. So we have this custom skeleton in here. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this file over here and drop it and it's gonna be uploading or it is supposed to. All right, we might have to go in and do this. Let's go here. Maybe. Ah, there we go. So here we're gonna go ahead and import this. And it's gonna take just a moment. Hopefully. <laughs> All right, so once it's processed, it's gonna be showing you something a bit like this. And this is a bit of a preview of what you'll be able to see with your avatar. Of course, your avatar is not going to look like a gray amorphous uh, organized blob, to put it uh, <laughs> simply, but um, it looks pretty, pretty uh, close to that. So once you're over here, you're going to see that there's actually a good amount of animations. So we're going to click this, and this is an example of one of the dances we could import. Um, It'll show you a little bit of how it's going right here. Some things you want to keep in mind is that if it looks like it travels a bit far like this one does, it may go out of the AABV box uh, boundaries. And so you're generally going to want to try and find animations where they stay in one or a closed area. So let's see if we open this one up. This one looks pretty, pretty doable. And so you'll see it has 103 frames. You can actually tell all that kind of stuff as well as you can adjust all the posture and how many frames there are and all sorts of things like if I go ahead and drag this over here you'll see it, it adjusted a bit additionally if I move this down you'll see that it um, adjusts depending on what I slide I can also make it go into overdrive which is fun so you can actually adjust the speed of these animations if you really wish to and <laughs> make them go real slow. It also changes the frame count when you do that, so do be mindful of that. You can trim it in anything, really. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back up a bit, and I'm going to go ahead and download this. And you're gonna wanna make sure that you download this without the skin. And you're gonna want it in the FBX format. And it should just remain the same for all the settings we have right here. So other than changing without the skin, we're going to go ahead and download. Preparing download. All right. And we're going to go ahead and go open up Sansar to this lovely, lovely Linden here. <laughs> and when you are in the avatar menu, the way that you're going to get there to upload these things is to go down to this section where it says animation, the little running fella. And we're going to go over to the library section. So once we click on that right there, we're gonna go down to import and it's gonna open up import avatar animation. So since I did this on the female skeleton, here's my lovely uh, model Lacey. <laughs> and we're gonna go and open up by browsing and it should put this into my downloads folder, I believe. So here it is right there. Click it and then select open and then press import. And then we will wait just a quick moment there. So it's uploaded here into my library. Ooh, that is a nice dance. 
Um, other than that, to assign it to one of your dancey modes, which will make it loop. If it's something that you'd like to have loop, we'll go ahead and go back to something like the emotes tab and go to dance six. And then let's go scroll down and hey, there we go. Pretty cool dancing. Good moves, Lacey. Great job. No. <laughs> But yes, uh, that's really it. It's as simple as that. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, other than that, have a great day and see you in Sansar.